Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy the Dreadhead Ninja by Rodimus Black. And I want to welcome you back to another Rodimus Black Presents. Uh, and, and today we are going to be talking about custom transformers. My transformers in particular. Um, so right here we got all the custom transformers that I have worked on throughout my eight, nine years stint as a transformer customizer. Oh, also Voltron over there. And uh, yeah, we're going to take out some time to talk about them. So what I want you to do is to sit back, relax, grab a Coke, maybe a sandwich, and saddle in because this is going to be a long one. All right, so the first figure we're going to be talking about that I've done is going to be my custom Rodimus Prime. Now, um, what I'm actually going to do is break this video into two parts because if I don't, it's going to be really, really, really long. And I really don't want to hold you up too long. So first, we're going to focus on the Autobots that I've done. Then I'll make a second video focusing on the Decepticons. All right, cool. So let's get started. So this is Rodimus, Black, Rodimus Prime that I did. I almost called him Rodimus Black. And um, I did this one a few years ago. This is about the time where I first found my style of doing customs. And I was really, really proud of this one. Because I was able to not only get a Rodimus, but I was also able to get a pretty dope trailer out of the deal too. Um, now, the figure that I used on this one was, uh, I think it was Mars Bots. Uh, I picked that up at my local Walmart. You might be able to still find them every now and then. I still see them. And you might also can see find them at like your local like Ollie's or Big Lots sometimes too. So if you have one of those in your area and you're interested in the mold that I used on this one, that's what it's called, Mars Bots. Looking up on eBay, online, whatever. All right, so, yeah, here we go. <clears throat> he does still fully transform. He has, like, a used Gundam for his head. And uh, cut him out a nice little spoiler on the back. Gave him some nice little cannons. And you already know uh, from the name of my site, my name of my channel, Rodimus Prime is obviously my favorite Transformer figure, so I had to get them done, and I had to make sure I showed them some love. Uh, this is one of those ones where I feel like if I did it again, it'd probably come out a little bit better than what I did the first time, but I'm still really happy with them. You know, it's still a really dope figure. And um, like I said, also got a trailer. Yeah, you know, right here. This came from um, some kind of Hot Wheels toy. It was like Hot Wheels Battle Force 5 or some weird thing like that. But this was a lot longer when I first did it. The thing I liked about it is that it, this collapses all the way down for when he's in his vehicle mode. If I can get it to. It's been so long. Get in there. Stay. Bad trailer. Okay, so it's not going to work right now. But obviously, it pops up. And Rodimus actually sits behind it quite nicely. You know, so it kind of gives him that look like he's standing behind it and he's firing missiles. And right here, I like to pretend like this is like makes some kind of energy grid. So that he has a shield while he's, uh, you know, while he's preparing for battle. And you can see down here, there are like magnets hidden inside. That's what I use to connect Rodimus to the uh, trailer. So, yeah, it's really nice once it transforms and if the trailer is working properly, which obviously right now it's not, for whatever reason. Yeah, get in there. Man, it really won't stay. Oh, well, that's embarrassing. Got that on camera. <laughs> oh well. All right. So next one I'm going to talk about. That was actually one of my favorite customs that I've done. But the next one I want to talk about is one that was really well received by the Transformer community. It is my custom uh, Ultra Magnus. All right. Now this right here is the Cybertron Prime, basically just painted white and gray. Here you can take that off. And you can see the actual prime body inside of there. And basically I used um, Gundam pieces for the arms. And I can't remember, I think it was like Mike Gain or something for the legs. Added some wheels that fold down for when he's in his vehicle mode. You know, he has a nice little backpack. 
Again, hit a magnet on the inside of here, and then a magnet on the inside of the gun. So that way, it just bah, clips right in. I still like them. You know, it's a pretty dope custom. You know, like when I first started doing all this, um, I was like real heavy on TFW 2005. If you don't know the website, I highly recommend you checking it out. But when I first started getting into customs, like people like Abram, Xavier Cow, uh, Frenzy Rumble, a lot of those people were like a lot of, were the people I basically drew a lot of my inspiration from. And I tried to like model my works a lot after their works. And it was kind of like a competition that I had going on with these guys that they never even knew existed. It was just like a competition between them and myself. But, uh, you know, they didn't know who I was and I didn't know them. But I always compared my work to those guys because I just really looked up to them because they all did phenomenal work. I mean, there's so many others that were out back then um, that I don't even see posting anymore. And um, I really miss those days because it was kind of like a little competition to see who can come up with the dopest customs. And I was proud that I was able to be a part of that. And I still enjoy doing uh, my custom work and everything. All right. So that's my custom Ultra Magnus. Let's move on. Next one I want to talk about is my custom Computron, who obviously is not finished. Uh, I still have some paint apps, some paint work to do on them. But um, this is what I came up with. You know, it's like I really like Computron. Uh, he was one of my favorite combiners next to Superion on the Autobot side. And um, I just really wanted to, you know, do the character, show him a lot of love. And I think this came out great. Uh, it was a great exercise in figuring out how to better articulate my Transformers. Um, and, you know, just give him a little bit more posability and a little bit more stability. And I really like the way he came out. As you can see, I used a variety of parts to make this happen. Um, I didn't really want to go out and buy anything new to do this one. I just wanted to use things that I already had existing in my, um, in my part stash. And um, I was able to make this come out. I mean, you can obviously see, like, that's Unicron. Uh, the feet are basically epoxy sculpt. And there's actually like a piece of clear plastic right down in there. And I didn't come out the way I wanted it to. So I'll probably, once I uh, move and I get my lab set back up, I'll probably revisit this guy, redo his feet, and finish up his paint job. But all in all, I think it was a beautiful custom. You know, this is one of the ones where I was really, really stoked on. But it is not transformable at all. Uh, he wasn't designed to be. Um, personally, I don't really care about making the combiners transformable. It just requires a lot more effort, a lot more parts and time, which is something I'm generally strapped for. But, um, yeah, I mean, he came out great. You know, he's very poseable, very well articulated. You know, even because I used the Metroplex down here, uh, Cybertron Metroplex, I was able to give him a ab crunch. Let me uh, steady that out. You can see what I mean. So... So he has ab crunch back and ab crunch forward. So I mean, this one really came out beautifully to me. You know, I'm kind of mad at myself because I haven't finished them yet. But like even down to like the head sculpt, like that's all epoxy sculpt. That's like the best head sculpt I've ever done, in my opinion. Well, one of. Just needs some more paint, and he'd be good. You know. All right. So next up. <clears throat> My favorite city bot of all, Metroplex. Heeding the call of the last prime. Now this is a prime example, y'all, of when your ambition is bigger than your own creativity. Now because this is Metroplex, and I started working on this about the same time that you know um, Hasbro released theirs and Make Toys released Utopia. And I, it just, it got away from me. Like, it is, it was such a huge, huge project to try to do. I mean, he has articulation out the ass. I mean, you know, this little canopy up here opens up right there. This moves and can sit flush back there, come forward. Uh, he has his dual turrets on the side, which these are just held on by magnets, by really strong magnets on both sides of it. But those uh, can move up and down if I get my hand out the way. Oh, his chest also opens up, you know, revealing like a little cargo bay inside of there. 
uh, on the sides, they open up, you know, revealing like a little place for Autobots to sit. Because he does transform. I just, I'm not a fan of his transformation still. And that's another reason why I haven't finished him yet, up yet. Is because I'm still waiting to find that one part that really ties everything together. But yeah, he even has like little ramps on the back of his arms that fold out when he's transformed. So on both arms, you have ramps. You can see right back here, you have uh, ramps on the legs, tank treads, more tank treads. Uh, this was going to be a super cannon, and that's another thing I never finished. But this right here is actually really cool, what I was going for. Hopefully, y'all dig it. But it, as you can see, it attaches right to the back. That opens up like that, and then that folds down. And then he has like this big bust, this big dual cannon that he can wield too on top of everything else. So, I mean, I, I really made this guy ready for battle. And I'm really mad at myself for not finishing him. But again, as soon as I move, when I get a bigger place to stay in, I plan on setting my lab back up, getting all my parts and everything out. And I'm definitely going to finish this guy up, get him painted. And hopefully about that time, I'll be able to go ahead and uh, repost him and uh, just let you guys see the final product. But yeah, even like these come off right here to reveal that. And then these fold down. To reveal like the leg ramps i mean there's a lot of work going on in this one which is the main reason why he's never gotten finished because um you know he is it's like i i, I love metroplex you know ever since i was a little kid he was like one of my favorite transformers and uh i just want to make sure that i do him justice and i don't care how many years it takes me as long as i get it done the way i want it that's what it'll be all right so let's move on Who's next? Oh, yeah. Omega Supreme. Yeah. Ah, if I can get him. Okay. Here we go. Y'all can see my little pizza tray. Brought to you courtesy of my wife. She let me borrow this because it rotates. Ooh, pizza. All right. But yeah, here he is. Now, this Omega Supreme right here that I did. I feel like I was on something brand new. I was on something different when I came up with this. Like, you know, because I sit here and I see, like, I wish, like, I wish companies like Make Toys, Fans Project, MMC would do, like, a custom Omega Supreme. And I wanted to try to get to that level when, when I was making this project, you know, when I was making this figure. And um, this is what I came up with. You know, this is something that I felt like a third-party company would come out with. So as you can see, like um, you have like Supreme Class Starscream for the legs. Uh, you got Primus in here for the body. Um, the head was like a part of an Insecticon, but like I basically hollowed it out and gave the, you know, sculpted, you know, used epoxy sculpt to make a new face for him. Did a nice close up on that. Gave him some turrets. And again, he is fully transformable. Um, but again, just another project that I have not yet finished. But yeah, he has his claws. You know, those are those articulate pretty well. And he's really poseable too. You know, I mean I really had a lot of fun doing this figure. Now there's his backpack. You can see where the the tank treads separate from the legs. Because basically the legs help to form the um the battle station with the backpack. Then the arms both pop off to form obviously the uh the space shuttle and then the body comes apart and becomes the tank itself but i'm not i'm happy with everything else but the way the tank forms and i'm still waiting to be able to figure out exactly how i want to go about doing that also the chest does come off this little clear plastic piece just to reveal like all the circuitry inside of his chest but yeah yeah uh, I really dig it. I mean, I really hope a lot of people find this video and that it sparks some creativity. You know, um, it'd be nice to see more kit bashing going on because, like, I go to the forums now and it's not the same as it used to be. Like, there's still people doing stuff out there, but it's been a lot more of repaints and minor builds. But, like, I miss the days of people just, like, doing heavy scratch, just taking stuff you would never imagine and making something just great instead of doing things that are, I, I hate to say it, but more predictable. All right. So, yeah, that's my Omega Supreme. This is probably one of the favorite customs that I've ever done. You know, just get one more 360 look at him. Yeah. 
but that's something you can do at home you know it's fun <laughs> all right so last Autobot I'm going to talk about is going to be my custom jet fire who's the ball joint inside the head broke off and I'm going to fix that but uh here we go this guy was kind of inspired like a IDW um jet fire kind of want to give him that fall of cybertron vibe that a whole uh you know um what was that the titanium there we go yeah i also went after that like titanium look as well and i just wanted to give him just like a really cool look and i made this guy using a uh, megatron figure i think it was like cybertron or energon megatron it's the one where you turn into a car and a jet or whatever it wasn't a bad figure but I think I did a I think I like him better the way he is now. So these two pieces do come off the body. And again through magnets can clip right down there on his arms. And you can take this off and attach this one to that side. So now he can use his back cannon back arm armor as cannons. So yeah, and the hit that does flip up to reveal his actual face. You know, not my best work on the epoxy sculpt, but you know, it does the trick. You know, went ahead and I uh, scratched out the Decepticon emblem that was naturally on the chest. Uh, you know, basically signifying how he once was a Decepticon, but now he scratched that out. Now he's an Autobot. So yeah, that one came out really nice. Now this is just a great way to express yourself. And to be able to give yourself a few pieces in your collection that nobody else can have. That nobody else is going to get. Magnets so come in handy. So, yeah. But yeah, that's my custom jet fire. With his floppy head that I'm going to have to fix one day. Yeah, that just pops right off. You can see right there, all I did was use the uh, bionicle joint. But the bionicle joint, uh, I think it broke. So I'm going to have to dig that out and pop it back on. And he'll be fine. Yeah, there we go. Jetfire. Pretty dope, huh? Yeah, I know you like it. <laughs> Alright. So, lastly, I almost didn't want to show this guy again because I already did it in another video. But I just love the figure so much that I had to do him twice. And just in case you missed him and you're watching him on this video, this is my custom Voltron figure. This guy was basically made up predominantly of Power Ranger parts. Like both legs are Power Ranger, Jungle Force or something like that. Just like the arms. And the body is just made up of a hodgepodge of like Gundam pieces and a lot of other different things. But yeah. You know, definitely, uh, you know, try to give them like the green, red, you know, yellow, blue. Just to signify all the lions. You know, the little cross right there. You know, he has his energy shield, his energy sword. Now, this is just this is a great art form, man. I really love it, and I really miss doing it. It's been a few years since I picked up anything and worked on it. But uh, like I said, once I move, it is definitely on and popping. And I'm going to get back in the lab and get back started. You know, I want to finish up a few things. I got a few, few items that I've been kicking around in my head that I really want to work on. But right now, I just don't have the space to do it. My wife and I are kind of just, you know, we're, we're jam-packed in this little apartment. So, like I said, this year, the big move is coming. And it's going to be awesome. All right, so that's uh, all my Autobot Transformers, or at least good guy figures that I've done. Uh, so join me next time on the next video. And you can check out all my Decepticon customs as well. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, or subscribe. Or not. Whatever. It's all up to you. You know. But I hope you do. And you know. If you liked it. You know. Make sure you join me back for more videos. I'm just going to keep banging these out. For as long as I can. So. Until next time y'all. Peace.